ClarkWoods.com. This is Horribly Off Topic, episode number 184. I'm Chris. And I'm Steve. And I'm Steve. What? And you, you're Chris. No, I'm not Chris. No, no, not at all. Do you think we uh, should do like a, a, a tr- not trading, trading places? Is it trading places? Trading spouses? No. Mm. One, yeah. I'm not married yet. No, and, no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I don't want. I don't think. I, I don't think Steph would. No, want I don't either. think. Uh, <laughs> I, I, um, I had a student who was on a who who uh, worked in nonfiction. Maybe teacher, I, the no, 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 no. This is a this is a male student. Oh. and uh, yeah, you know, was older than me. Um, okay. Which I know it's not. There's nothing to rule that out. I mean, we have talked about how uh, a long I was time a ret- ago I had a phase. I but... was I was a returning student. I mean, mm. I, I only had like maybe three or four years. Yeah. Uh, ahead of the folks that uh, I was going to college with, mm. but um, but there were there were some uh some students that were uh, a little bit older, a yeah. couple uh in in my media classes over mm-hmm. the years and uh well, some pers- were were uh were older than my professor so this particular student i believe was close to if not the same age as my dad Ooh. um uh, but at any rate this uh, particular student um was on a show i don't know if it was actually trading spouses but it was a show of a similar concept um and uh, freaky wrote- friday and <laughs> um what's the one with um with Lindsay Lohan and uh, Jamie Lee Curtis? No, yeah. no, not that one. What's the one with uh, Judge Reinhold? Judge Reinhold. Uh, that is, uh, I think you're thinking of Beverly Hills Cop. No. I think you're thinking of Clerks the Animated Series. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know which one has Judge Reinhold. Uh, Judge Reinhold, is, no, he's not in um, uh, Big... He's in uh, he's in one of those one of those fucking movies. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. I think you're thinking of uh, Philadelphia, <laughs> where he trades <laughs> places with with AIDS. Oh no, that's no, that's not funny, Steve. Oh no, it's my kind mistake. Of, it's, it's, <laughs> I thought uh, humor was pretty subjective. Uh, well, you know, it, it's uh, today's day and age. You know, these yeah, these kids these days. These kids these days. They, um, they hate humor. They they don't like to laugh. Um, uh laughter is is uh is 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 uh is the best medicine it's uh i don't know at any rate um you uh st- teacher subject student <clears throat> um you were talking about your student i know but i already wrapped that part up i was trying to i was trying to dial back i was trying to go back through the parenthetical go, go back, back to, to the fucking email no no i know I, we, we we were gonna read an email but, but we got oh, horribly off topic right off the right right out of the gate yes um and so now I, I was just trying before we got to the email but i was just saying we could trade places and not spaces <gasps> trade places that's what it was trading um trading places i think that's coming back i think that was the one with um with the cute uh with no, the cute woman and the um and the sh- i the thought short. trading spaces was the one mm. which was the show trading places oh, was the movie with trading. dan Aykroyd and eddie murphy i think I, yes all right so trading spaces is the one with the with the cute woman um and and uh and like everybody on that show went on to to go do other other home improvement shows including uh the fucking carpenter guy went on to uh, extreme makeover home edition which was a which was a regular staple in the Clark household for uh, for a number Clark of years. Clark household. Yeah, no, I can speak the English goodly. Um, Who's buzzing me? We 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 could trade trade places. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll teach you your courses. And I, you can uh, do some uh, training. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't know if training I training administration. I, I'm not sure that I would be any good at your job. I'm not think, sure that I'm good at my job. I so. think you could probably excel at what I do. All right. Well, um, one thing I do excel at is reading emails. Now, we put we, out a call. We get emails. We we do get emails. Occasionally. But we, but we put out a We'd call. We'd like more emails, so we, hot, hot at clarkwoods.com if you want to email us. Yes, we should contribute that. to the show mm-hmm. so you can make us do less work and talk and maybe not talk about things you don't want us to hear about or right. don't don't want to hear about. Yes, yes, like sex turlets. Um, <laughs> don't even start I know I'm, I, that's all I'm saying um, so yes hot at com. we should always say that near the beginning um, so people so when people are tuning out when we're giving plugs at the end <laughs> they, like, hey every once in a while I say something really fun at the very end of the show at, so if you skip the plugs asshats mm. 
you miss it. Yes. Oh, unless uh, you do the, the 15 second thing. Right. All one word. <laughs> 15 seconds. Or uh, at, we've, we've already looked at who has all uh, at all one word, haven't we? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And we can't get it. It's 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 taken or something. Yeah, because the guy has it, and I don't think he's used it in like yeah. since right. Twitter started. Um, well, at ECC has been taken, and ha- the guy that guy hasn't used it in in I don't know how long. So it's uh, there are a couple options for me that weren't uh, didn't involve a 1977. See, I got Tuesday is loser, and do you know that ECC 1977 was not my original Twitter handle. My original Twitter handle was Little Bastard. Bastard? Bastard. Um, because my book... <clears throat> well, yeah, because my, those my little book... Those Little Bastards? Those Little Bastards was out. Um, and at the <clears throat> time, it was based on my website name, which had no R in it. And so I was doing this thing where I just went around, and that was my, that was my Twitter handle. And then I... Um, uh, went into I don't know a chat room or uh, uh, like a like a Twitch stream or something back in the day and they had they Twitch were, back in the day because uh, wasn't Twitch Justin TV anyway it was Justin TV that I was on I think Justin TV turned into Twitch or some goddamn thing um, and uh, they were all like eh, Chris maybe you should change your name um, we, we like we don't like having to shout out little bastard on our uh, on our live stream here. Um, I know it's such offensive words. Such offensive, yeah. So I changed it to ECC nineteen seventy seven, but I probably could have at that point changed it to ECC or or Chris Clark or I. I was early to Twitter. I could have gotten something without the goddamn numbers, and now I'm stuck with. It. I can't get E Christopher Clark. I was not early to Twitter, and I got two days. Two days. You got you got what you wanted. Yeah. Because um, no one fucking knows, like, it, and the the only people that would have had it <laughs> were in the new sweethearts. Mm-hmm. And I, if, if, if any think, of them had grabbed it ahead of you, that would have been... It would have been either okay, or mm-hmm. maybe I could have just asked them, can I have it? Yeah. Um, we, uh, you got what you wanted um, here again this week, because you asked for people to send us email to teach us things. Mm-hmm. Right. And, and this week we, we got our first uh, response to that um, from listener friend of the show, Leo. Yes. Um, who, uh, who wrote us an email, uh, subject line, some knowledge. Ooh, I love drop, drop it on us. Please. Drop, drop some knowledge. Um, would you like me to read it? Sure. I already did. But. <laughs> well, the listeners haven't heard it. Yeah. I mean, except Leo. I imagine I imagine Leo has... Well, I don't think he heard it. He probably didn't read it out loud to himself. That's true. And he didn't have me read it out loud to him, which is what I tell my students. I say, if you really want to know the content, how well the content of something you've written works, have someone else read it out loud to you. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna find out exactly how well Leo's uh, email works. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write some slash fiction and give it to you to read. <laughs> All right, I, I, I can do that. It's gonna be uh, Bartolomeo and Cavendish. Oh no! I assume that I was supposed to I was supposed to drink there. Yeah. Okay. Um, Leo writes, "Hey guys, hey guys." Um, no. How would he say it? Would he say, hey, guys? Or would he say, hey, guys? He wouldn't say it either way. <laughs> okay. He's not Eeyore or like some fucking hey hacky. Hey, guys. He's not some hacky radio DJ. Oh, before you read the email. <laughs> remember like a while back I talked about. Remember how we were going to start the show with the email and now. It's no, but we're getting. It's, 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 it's in the. It's in the. It's in the. It's peripheral. in the hopper. Yeah. So. A, a while back, we like way like you don't even have to search for this one because I'm I don't know gonna. if you could find it. Mm-hmm. Uh, we I talked about something that uh, that Opie and Anthony uh, they were like trying to come up with radio show names for like morning show. Okay, and I think the one that they went with was Rape Kit in Crawl Space uh. in the morning. <laughs> uh, so Yuck. I was walking down the uh, sub or the commuter rail platform. Uh-huh. Uh, a couple mornings ago yeah and there was a guy with a backpack and in the backpack mm. uh, there was a uh, yoga mat and a tripod so okay. I, w- I was thinking uh tripod and yoga mat in the morning or vice versa <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that because that is a candidate for um a show title uh and uh i'm, I'm gonna write it down okay so in- 
Now is yo- is that yoga mat like yoga mat like as in Matthew or just yoga mat? Yoga mat. He had a yoga mat. Okay. Well, I'm not, it's not. It's not like it could be like a double entendre. No. No. Okay. Just a single one. Just. <laughs> All right. Um. Hey guys. No, he's not Eeyore. Is what you're saying. He's, he's not Eeyore, he's, and he's, he's not a hacky radio morning DJ. Um. Okay. Hey guys. So I am taking up Steve's request for some facts. I got two that relate to last week's episode, Turd Arithmetic. First, Chris was wondering about... I like about- how he references the episode. <laughs> hey, you know, that's... Th- see- hey, you know, if you want, if you guys, this is your first episode, you're, you're, you're diving into mm. one, 184. Yeah. Which is, this is going to be a treat for you. Yep. Uh, and you're like, wait, which episode are they talking about? Leo said it in the email. Turd Arithmetic. The one right before this. Number 183. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, first, uh, writes Leo, Chris was wondering about animals and oral sex, specifically hen on rooster. Um, I can't think of any examples in the bird world, but there is at least one case of fish oral sex. Mm. Specifically, this is the M- <laughs> Mabuna chicklids. Um, no, k- kitchlids? The Mabuna kishlid. Chicklids. Um, a type of fish native to Lake Malawi in Africa. Mabuna are mouth brooders and are unique as the only species where the eggs are fertilized in the female's mouth. That means that male mabuna have to get sperm into the female's mouth to successfully reproduce. This is the only case I know of where a blowjob, using that term loosely, results in pregnancy. (laughs) (laughs) Now, I am very intrigued by this fact. I think... Um, See, look at that. We're, 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 it's 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 uh, a little bit raunchy. Yep. But it's also knowledge. It is also knowledge. Now, now, Steve, can I ask you a question? You can a- a- ask. Can me. I a- can I ask you a question? You can, you can ask me anything you want. All right. So, and I'm going to ask you this, and then I I will admit, I maybe I've admitted this before, but but um uh, I, I I'll wait to to admit it until you've I... never gotten a fish blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> what was the name of that movie where where uh fucking um don knotts turns into a the incredible cr- mr limpet <laughs> now that like that movie sticks out in my head as a movie i saw as a very young kid that like simultaneously freaked me out and i was also really intrigued by and maybe i don't know if that means that i want oh, a very don- tragic story of man who fall in spring 500 200 uh, whatever i, I <laughs> 5200 years ago <laughs> I, I'm not sure that that means that I want Don Knotts to give me a blowjob or I want the fish to give me a blowjob, but it's it's one or the other, I'm sure. No, no. The question I wanted to ask you, the question I wanted to ask you is when you were aware, oh, if there was a time, let, let's, let me not assume, when you were younger um, and you were... And life was so wonderful. <laughs> and you were vaguely aware of how humans reproduced. But not entirely sure on the specifics. Um, were there any strange or odd things you believed about the way babies were made? Um, I don't know. Like, I don't have like strong memories of mm. that time, mm-hmm. uh, and 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 of those basic thoughts. I mean, we we had sex ed in like sixth grade, I think. I remember. It, that sounds right. I remember having something um, where uh, in fifth grade, my last year at Westlands, the elementary school, where um, the boys went out to recess and the girls got held inside for what I later learned was the was the period talk. Uh-huh. And then the, the there guy... was a possibility that girls might start right. And, the and so then about 10 the, or 11 years old, then the girls went out for recess and the boys all went inside and we had like the vaguest of talks the, about uh, why it's weird when you climb the rope. <laughs> yeah. And like hair growing in your crotch or, or some, some damn thing. So it's like a puberty thing, not so much a sex ed thing. Yeah. Um, I remember that. So yes, you, so yeah, I don't fifth, think si- fifth, fifth, fifth or sixth grade, I think is uh, the beginning. So of, when of we, sex we you start getting a, a basic knowledge and then, you yeah. know, some, some kid says, uh, I totally got a hand job from some <laughs> chick or something. Right. Over over behind the bag knees when I was going over there to get some um uh, <laughs> getting really That's local. that's getting really old and local for you because it's I don't think it's been bag knees no. for about twenty five years. <laughs> 
I was over behind the Bagneys. I was unwrapping my garbage pail. A Bagneys. <laughs> it is. It was one store. I didn't mean to say. I didn't mean to say A Bagneys. I was. If you were I like, was I was over, over behind the White Hen Pantry. <laughs> I was over behind the Bagneys, Steve, and I was unwrapping my garbage pail, kids, series two or whatever one. And 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 this girl came over and she stuck her hand in my pants, and I was like, "What the hell is going on?" And 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 then all of a sudden, I was feeling very moist. Um, no, no, yes. Yeah, so somebody somebody comes over and 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 talks about uh, hand jobs, and that's your. First I was just. Or? I was just. No. I, I. I'm. I'm assuming that said person talking about hand jobs was blatantly lying. Mm, okay. And that they didn't actually have any sort of uh, sexual relations. Yeah. So nothing weird comes to your mind. Um, that you that you believed that you later realized was a really dumb thing you believed I, I think it was, I, 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 I might have been under the impression that like a stork brought a baby at some point because... well yeah and that, that, that's not that ridiculous yeah. that's something that we actually saw in cartoons yeah um, so if we believe that at some point it's fucking Walt thing Disney it, and, and the Warner Brothers you fun. had the benefit of having a little brother I did so I mean you you're but he was only he was only two he was just a little less than two years younger than me so I had no fucking yeah okay concept so of, you didn't I was right, two so you didn't when, remember your mom being pregnant or no, anything okay no. so but people that are are a little bit older that have had uh, younger siblings probably have a right. better idea of like you know it's like oh the, it's not a fucking stork dropping yeah a baby we're babies off. I mean we. For better or worse, uh, Kaylee, my my older daughter, was in uh, the delivery room, um, not during the process, but um, uh, right before and right after when her when her sister was born. She was four, um, and that was a that was a conscious decision that my wife wanted her to to be uh, to be there. Um, At least not for the not for the not for the, not for the active uh, delivery, but but she was there beforehand and afterwards. So she has. You know, a decent idea, even before she had any talks with us about uh, about at least where babies came from. I don't know. Um, as she is, she's female, and she's she's biologically female. She's got a vagina. I don't know if she has had any knowledge of the male part of the the reproductive uh, the re the, the uh, equation. Well, do, um, does your uh, does your father still have his excessive uh, porn stash? <laughs> Yeah, but I think there's only one VCR in the house. Actually, I don't know if he has his excessive porn stash. <laughs> then the VCR doesn't work anymore. Because so if like if well, are they ever really home alone? Um, no. Okay, no. so then they yeah. th- they don't have the opportunity yes, no, to go don't. snooping through grandpa's porn stash. Yeah, no. No. Um, all right. So so the the I was asking you about embarrassing things cuz I had an embarrassing thing that I vaguely remember believing. Um Santa Claus? <laughs> what do you mean? What Jesus? Do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Ah, just kidding. Um, no, um, no, I had this notion at some point in my childhood, and it's hard for me to imagine at what point. Um, it had to have been at some, some you know, we as, as boys and, and men were raised with a sort of, especially in the 80s, with a sort of breast fixation. Um, more than butts, more than anything else. And certainly there was no... Um, until later, there was no vagina or or pussy um, fixation. So, or as, as some people might say, magumbo. <laughs> so I, but but before I'd seen bear breasts, right? Um, like so, the breasts on a bear. <laughs> <laughs> the breasts. On a bear. No, no. I, th- um, I think bear breasts is is the funny part, it, but like you have to spell. It. Oh wait, is it no? The breasts the same on a bear is like what the hell are they talking about? <laughs> um, is so, it spelled the same way, bear and bear? No, it is no, two different not. bears. Just call it bear. Like if you're gonna call the show anything, call it bear breasts. I mean, I still think tripod B-E-R-E, and yoga mat. R e. Or wait, no. B B e a r breasts. All right. So I. I was aware of, of, of boobs as a sex characteristic of, of women, right? Not, I was not aware that they were a secondary sex characteristic of, 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 um, of women, of right? Really, really large men. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea what a vagina was, is what I'm saying. Okay. Um, or, let's see, I cannot figure out where this thought would have come in, right? Because what I remember thinking at some point vaguely 
was that the the vagina that the baby that the sex happened um up near the boobs i that that it was much closer to the boobs than it was to the crotch okay. i had no fixation i had no understanding of 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 a woman's crotch as having anything similar to um to my own crotch like i wasn't i wasn't thinking about crotch and crotch sort of banging together didn't enter the equation. I was thinking about well, because like when you're a little center of reproduction, when you're little, like you you have your penis and it, mm-hmm. and, it, and you, you use it to to expel waste. Yes. So you're like, like why would you think mm. that this is a dual purpose thing? No. Yeah. But but see, no. But here's the thing: is I cannot figure out at what point in my life I believed this because I must have been aware that the penis was. I was starting to become aware that the penis had a dual role, oh. but I had no idea where the penis went, and so. I think I was thinking about it. I don't know if I thought about it being where the belly button was or like further up for the belly button. What are you, Tommy button. Wiseau? I mean, I, I, I mean, was I thinking that like a Hawaiian muscle fuck, which was was. I don't know what Hawaiian muscle. Hawaiian fuck muscle is. fuck is is, is is titty fucking. It's it's that's, an expression. I've never heard that expression before. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's an expression. God damn it! I might be wrong. Um. Uh. At any point, did they use that in Moana? <laughs> It was in the deleted scenes. Okay, that was one of the Rock's extra songs. <laughs> it was like a slow jam. Uh, Baby, let me give you the Hawaiian I, muscle fuck. I believe he's Samoan, not Hawaiian. But let's let's just just so the Polynesian muscle fuck would Sorry. be uh... <laughs> that general area of the world. <laughs> oh, oh my word! Um, so, uh. Yeah, I believed some weird things about uh, about sex. I never believed that. Is that, that the thing you that, wanted to tell me? That earlier? is the thing that I wanted to tell you. I, okay. That I, I I I never believed that that. Is there more email? There is more email. There's okay. a second fact. Wow. Um. So the first fact. Oh yeah, I forgot. I probably told this on this on the mm-hmm. show before, but like, uh, Leo studied, uh, did some ornithological research. Oh really? Uh, for his uh for his final uh, or his. I don't. I don't think it's a dissertation when it's a, an undergrad thing. But it's like a senior thesis, yeah, or a something senior project, or something, something like, like that. that. Yeah. Um, but he did uh, some some uh, tit research <laughs> to bring that back. <laughs> he did. He he researched the uh, the the breasticles. No, he he did research on on uh, oh on, 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 on the birds on, on the birds oh on the birds. And, and this is around the time where I did a, a Google search mm. for nice tits. <laughs> And this is not a Google image search. I just did a Google regular search. Yeah. And I got the Great Britain Ornithological Society. <laughs> I think you've said that before. And I think that, they, that's come up before. They had t-shirts on their website, which was... Uh, which said, said nice tits. Nice tits, and there was a couple of birds on it. <laughs> I, don't, I, I fail to see how that could be um, a, 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 a good idea. <laughs> I, I, I sort of wanted to get one of them, but I mm. also... Could not they think sell of, them in like a in like a woman's cut, you know, like the closer to the body, shorter sleeves. They did. They, I believe they did. Okay. I'm not sure, but I, I, I didn't want to get one of those. I wanted well, to get I, a, yeah. a men's cut shirt. Yeah, and uh, and but the it's just I could never think of an instance where I I would wear it. Yeah, like your brother, like I asked him one mm-hmm. time to get me a hustler T-shirt, mm-hmm. and by hustler T-shirt I meant. Get me a T-shirt that says the word "hustler" on it. Okay, and then he gets me one with like, uh, like a hustler like cover. Oh, uh, um. and it's basically like the 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 it says the word "hustler" on it, mm, and, not a lady. and then like a lady, but it was it was like um, the fingers of a lady mm. and some pubic hair coming out from it, oh. and I'm like, dude, I can't fucking <laughs> wear this anywhere. The fuck did you get me the shirt you for? You would wear it to a strip club, I guess. I, I be, but even then, I think I think you would probably get some weird. I think if you wore that to a strip club, even you'd get some weird. Looks. Yeah, that is not a shirt you can wear anywhere. <laughs> I I think the performers at the strip club would probably be like, you know what? Uh, let's not offer him a lap dance. Like, like let's let's stay away from that guy. Yeah, because because like, what is there? I, he, there was a hustler store in in the greater Los Angeles mm-hmm. area, which is what prompted me to ask, to ask for that yeah. particular shirt. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't really need any pornography. Right. No. Well, who does anymore? I mean, yeah. It's, it's it's out there for. Uh, I think that was the first porno mag I ever bought. Was a hustler. Was a hustler. 
on my birthday. Did Playboys count? Uh, Playboy was definitely the first one I bought. If if they count. Yeah, sure. I, I, I mean, there's boobs in it. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's boobs, a little bit of bush. Yeah. You know? Um. We've got bush. <laughs> Read my lips. No, no not uh, not that bush. Oh, not that bush. Okay, that was from Revenge of the Nerds, oh. where like, like if they were to make that movie today, mm. like people would be outraged. Yeah, that or Porky's or or Animal House, any of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, the second fact, according to Leo, the second fact concerns poop knives. Um, the second fact concerns poop knives, writes Leo. As soon as Chris brought this topic up, did I bring this topic? Well, I gave it oh, to you. That's right. You I, brought it up. I brought it up. Okay. Um, uh, it re- as soon as Chris uh, brought this topic up, it reminded me of Actually, this. Becky gave it to me, and I gave yes, it to Yes, credit you. where credit is due. Yeah. Becky came up with the poop knives. She didn't uh, come up with it. She found the article <laughs> that talked about poop knives. That's the farticle. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um... Uh, as soon as Chris brought up this brought this topic up that it was uh, sent to him by Steve and, and that he, Steve got from Becky, um, it reminded me of this story I heard about an old Inuit man. Rather than make this email go on forever, I'm attaching the link to a farticle about it. Hope you enjoy. And he actually did use farticle. So that, that was well, not good. just me adding that in there. Good for him. All right. So this article comes to us from boingboing.net. Um, it is titled... Wade Davis, an Inuit elder, and his shit knife. <laughs> so, so this is not. I, I don't know the. Okay, it's not I mean, that with long. the amount of calzone I just ate, I, I could probably need a poop knife tomorrow morning. Mm, mm, you gotta butter that off. What? Poop knife. You gotta butter it off. Like you butter it off the 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 butt onto the. Is that how it works? I can't. No, the you. No, you stri- cut the poop oh, the after poop it comes half. out of you. Got it. Okay. You're not buttering anything. No. Not, you might want to put some butter on the poop to not, see if it's not fecal butter. Slides down the, the <laughs> tube easier. I don't know. Um uh did, 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 did. okay. Um I this is the this is the article. Uh it's very short. Um I just watched this 2003 TED Talk video lecture by Wade Davis, the pioneering ethnobotanist. This is a fucking TED Talk. <laughs> um an anthropologist who has lived with an amazing array of indigenous cultures around the world. Of course, Davis is best known for his studies of ritual use of psychedelics and also the zombification practices among uh, voodoo uh, acolytes in Haiti. I found Davis's work to be personally inspirational, provocative, and mind-expanding. This TED Talk, titled Cultures at the Far Edge of the World, is no exception. In it, he tells an amazing story about about a wonderfully resourceful Inuit elder. Davis retold the same story in a recent Discover Magazine interview, but I highly recommend the TED video because, too, because it features many of his breathtaking photographs from Discover. That wouldn't really work on this show. No, but let's let's hope this is this is mostly a text based article. So I'm hoping that by reading, which I'm reading now for the first time, ooh, I'm hoping uh, that this uh, this paints paints a mental picture. This is a quote from uh, from the Discover article. One of the cultures you celebrate in light at the edge of the world is the Inuit. What do you mi- admire most about them? Davis says. The Inuit didn't fear the cold. They took advantage of it. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> During the 1950s, the Canadian government forced the Inuit into settlements. A family from Arctic Bay told me this fantastic story of their grandfather who refused to go. The family, fearful for his life, took away all of his tools and all of his implements, thinking that would force him into the settlement. But instead, he just slipped out of an igloo on a cold Arctic night, pulled down his caribou and sealskin trousers, and defecated into his hand. As the feces began to freeze, he shaped it into the form of an implement. And when the blade started to take shape, he put a spray of saliva along the leading edge to sharpen it. Uh. That's when... what they called the shit knife took form. He used it to butcher a dog, skin the dog with it, improvised a sled with the dog's rib cage, and then, using the skin, he harnessed up an adjacent living dog. He put the shit knife in his belt and disappeared into the night. <laughs> that is an amazing fucking story. Thank you, Leo. <laughs> oh my god. That... That that was not what I was expecting that was at all. Not what I was expecting. I really, I'm not. This is not a bit. I did not read that until just now, and I am so. Oh my god, my heart is. What is okay? What is my heart? Uh, what is my heart rate? I don't know if I can get it up uh, quick enough. Uh, heart rate. That's heart what rate. she said. 
I, somebody did this on a on a show I was listening to the other day. They um, uh, they were doing magic. Um, oh my god, that was so funny. Um, they were doing magic um, over on their podcast, and somebody put, uh, 89 beats a minute right now. Oh. I think my resting average, or at least six minutes ago, my, I was at 65 beats a minute. So. Wow, that's so, impressive. Woo. Um, I guess I'm I'm intrigued by Inuit shit knives. Um, <laughs> that is great. Like that that is that is he's he's the supreme luddite. <laughs> yes, shits into his hands, spits so on it. So he doesn't have to live. It. Maybe he just hated his family. <laughs> Shapes it into a knife. Butchers a dog. Uses the dog parts to hook up another dog. <laughs> he maybe he he was just like. <laughs> You know, everybody that's always like saying that Canadians are so much better than Americans, like forcing these Inuits into a settlement. Jeez. Well, oh, I thought you were going to make that a point about like the well, the Inuits are are up there, and that's that's all. If Canadians have any superiority, it's that they they leech that superiority from the uh, from the Inuit, just like we leached our superiority out of our our Native Americans, uh, Native American brothers and sisters. Yes, yes, and yes, and um. I hear that uh, that 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 uh, Black Panther, a uh, very good movie, one hundred percent on. And where, it, where did that segue come here's from? Where it comes from. Um, that that it, because it's centered around a an African culture um, that was not influenced by white colonialism. That's where it came from. So so I'm, I'm hearing that is a uh, so you know. I, I you know what I'm going to bring it up because you talked about Africa. Mm-hmm. I want to I, like I. There's a part of me that mm-hmm. wants to go there. Yeah, to one of uh, the the poorer countries in the world, and mm-hmm. unfortunately, a lot of them are in Africa. Yeah, and they get a lot of uh, relief from the United States. Mm-hmm. Um, often, er, in fact, every year from the NFL, mm-hmm. they get a whole slew of T-shirts. <laughs> and I would like to go and and maybe. Uh, this is this is this is all too, go to the republic of congo or something like that sore. i i can't and I, get a uh patriot super bowl 52 championship is that can we just end it there like we don't <laughs> have to say anything more about it um unless we want to talk about ads and stupid ads and um i'll talk about stupid ads i would love to talk about stupid ads i saw a ad, an ad for a a dwayne johnson movie that i thought was a parody I all the way up through the point where it told me when it was coming out. I was like, I was like, this is this is not a real movie, is it? And no, it's a real fucking movie. And Rob Liefeld on Twitter, fucking dummy that he sometimes is, was like, this is gonna be awesome. I'm 100 percent behind the rock. And I'm like, at first I thought this is another trailer for his movie Rampage about the fucking video game I played in the 80s. You only you played it. Uh, only I played it. Okay. Um, and uh, no, it's another movie about him. It's called uh, Skyscraper. What is he going to be in the Rampage movie? He is. Um, he he's friends with the ape, I think. And then the ape gets um, irradiated or whatever. And then he wants to go try and um, and calm down the ape because the ape's his buddy. And then in the process of trying to calm down the ape, there's the other two. It was the the wolf was, and the and the, the dragon. Was, what was the? I, it was Lizzie and Ralph mm-hmm. were the lizard and, and the wolf man. Yeah, and uh, but I don't know I about forget the, the, the ape the one. Ape. Hmm. Hmm. Ralph. <sighs> anyway, so there was that fucking movie. Um, there was uh, Dodge um, doing the the fucking worst commercial of all time by using Martin Luther King's words to sell a fucking truck. Um, words from the speech, and I linked to this uh, the other day. Uh, Cockheed.org had a link to this. Um, that same speech, uh, King goes on to talk about what is so bad about American culture and advertising. That same fucking speech that they used in their fucking ad. Oh. So that one was terrible. I, I just about jizzed myself when the Infinity War one came on, um, but that was that was about it. I, I think we, I missed that one. It's, it only must have 40, been, it's only like 45 seconds. But okay. But, uh, and it then was in there the third was quarter. Danny DeVito getting hit by a car. That's always fun. I didn't see that one. That was early on. Oh, okay. The, yeah. he, was a, he was the red M&M, and then he found a penny. He wishes oh, he was a person. Yeah, somebody, um, they, they, I was looking down at my phone at that point because my family all got a laugh out of it, and I was like, 
What? What, what, what would I miss? Yeah. He is such a fucking weirdo. <laughs> Danny DeVito? Yeah. Yeah. But that's all right. It's I mean, like, weirdo. um, what was it? It's always sunny in Philadelphia. The first season of that show mm-hmm. is a little bit like rough around. Well, it's it's always been rough around the edges, yeah. but like it just didn't have quite something, and mm-hmm. it was it was missing something. And what? But like the second season, mm-hmm. Danny DeVito is there, and it's so much better. Like, I guess he, Danny DeVito is just the secret to 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 making anything better. You know, he is a funny fucking dude, and mm-hmm. he is a. He's a little, little freaking little guy. It's just <laughs> fucking weird. Um, and uh, the tie dads were tie dads were were all right. Um, the yeah, but the, the the Martin Luther King thing really just uh, well that and 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 um, I mean so I don't know. I follow enough people. Not I don't necessarily follow all of Black Twitter, if you could call it that. But I follow enough people who are sort of um, related to. Um, or or following a lot so of. I'm, uh, I'm I'm kind of disappointed you didn't make some sloppy portmanteau of Black Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry to disappoint. Um, yeah. But they were. I mean, they had plenty of reason to be up in arms about that um, fucking broadcast. And when Timberlake comes out and uh, and has fucking well, they called it. A I didn't. We didn't watch the halftime, and unfortunately. <clears throat> We forgot to switch our cable to having Animal Planet for <gasps> no so we, puppy we, bowl. We didn't watch the puppy oh, bowl. Oh motherfucker, that's too bad. It's not like we we don't every day mm. watch videos of puppies on 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 Did YouTube. Did you see the video today? Um, it was was it on the Today Show? Um, yeah, because I'm always watching. Well, the no, Today no, but show. but it was I was on Twitter I, it, and it was circling around, and I don't think the Today Show was the only place that had it. Um, it was a mother and daughter, and they recently lost their um, they recently lost their dog. Oh no! And uh, so the daughter went out to buy a puppy to surprise her mom, and when she walks into the video to show her mom the puppy that she bought to surprise her, the mom walks in, and mom's like, "No, you didn't." So the mom goes into the other room and brings out another puppy because she'd gone out and gotten a puppy to... How old um, was this daughter? It was like... It's like a... I don't know. Maybe like a, a teens or early 20s. It okay. might have been somebody who like... <laughs> I was like, whoa. Like, it was like this like six-year-old's like, I'm going to go buy a puppy. No, no. It, was, it was somebody who... Like, they're old enough to go out and buy a puppy on their own. Okay. Um, and uh, Make so sure now they get have... get all his shots. They have two puppies. That's great. Um, and I think I, they're going to keep both of them. So that's good because that that that's the sort of thing. Um, yeah, and my kids are uh, speaking of puppies. My kids are, are are excited because Stephanie finally had uh, her allergy test done, and uh, although she is allergic to a whole bunch of stuff, dogs is pretty low on the on the list. Wow! So you and, guys and could the possibly allerg- get a dog. And the allergist gave her um, gave her tips on on how to deal with um, uh, how, how best to select a dog. That would not upset her like mild. Like some dog sort allergies. of poodle mix. Probably. Yeah, yeah, and she, they. It was interesting to hear that it's not necessarily because um, the thing I'd heard in the last couple of years was hair versus fur, but it, it, apparently that doesn't matter either. It's just how often they shed. So yeah, so you that's don't, why you don't want to get like a husky or some yeah, sort no. of fucking like. Yeah. Sheds and that's every why like seconds. she had a hard time with um uh is it were they labs? I, don't, I think they were labs. You can have a golden lab and a, and a black lab, right? Yeah, they the uh, labs that her yellow father lab had, they call yellow them. lab, um, uh, yellow lab and a black lab that her father had, um, and uh, she was allergic to them more than she'd been allergic to dogs before that, uh, and I think it was just because of how much they they shed. But no puppy bowl for you guys. That's that's yeah, a, that's a, a sad that's a sad thing. Sorry, I'm yawning so much. I mean, it's, it's not it's, it's not because you're boring me. I'm just oh well, you know. I um, ate a whole calzone earlier. A little, a little calzone. No, you ate a king calzone. No, oh, I was, ate, I ate a show. small calzone, which is it's still a big, it's yeah. the amount of bread. It's like, it's like a pizza. <laughs> it's like a pizza folded in half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right. So, do we have to talk any more about the Super Bowl, or can I move on to something? Well, we else? could, we could talk about how like the defense sucked, and. Uh, you know, I think that was our defense. We we can talk about why why Bill Belichick benched Malcolm Butler for absolutely no reason. Well, I I, th- I mean that could have made our defense better. Um, Maybe would have not given up as many long balls. 
Yeah, I mean, like we like whenever there was a third, we had the opportunity to to shut them down at third and whatever. Yeah, we managed to not do it almost mm-hmm. every single time. And yeah. if we hadn't done that, like they wouldn't have had those those uh, those close touchdown calls that yeah. you know we like one of which I thought was going to be overturned and it wasn't. Yeah. The other one, I was like, yeah, I guess that's 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 right. Yeah, like one of them I thought was right. And I think that was the one that was he was running in for the touchdown. That yes, was, yeah, because he he was active as it was the one in the back of the end zone. Yeah, he that, did not seem to have control of the yeah. ball, and I'm like, how is that a fucking touchdown? Yeah. And then you know, you know, it comes back to what the fuck is a catch? Right. Yeah. Well, and I mean, our kicker missed um, a few kicks, um, which was uh, which was you know an extra point and a field goal. Yep. I think. So that's four points right um, there, and you know they don't get that touchdown, we and, win that game. And Brady um, fumbled. At the very end. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, so it, it, but. But the thing is like, you know, like. That's, that's, that's taking credit away from Philadelphia who played a great game. That's why I was saying it was our defense that was the problem. Mm-hmm. Like Brady didn't play a bad game. No, Brady had a, like, Brady had a pretty good game. He, he just kind of fucking felt like, he, uh, I think, I forget who, who said it. Uh, I mean, aside from dropping a touchdown. Pass, yeah. Well, it wasn't necessarily going to be a touchdown pass, he's, but he at least would have gotten a. He's, he's. He's older than I think both of us. He's yeah. He's o- he's older than me by a couple months. Yeah. So, and he's playing football still. <laughs> yes. But like yeah. you see him running, like 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 I think I think it was Bill Burr that said it best. He's like when he's in the pocket, he seems like he's twenty five years old mm-hmm. and he's fucking untouchable. Right. The moment he fucking gets out of that pocket and starts moving around, you see how fucking old that guy. Rodney is. Harrison said uh, essentially the same thing um, on I don't know if it was the pregame or whatever. Rodney Harrison, former teammate of uh, Mr. Brady, um, he said, you know, Tom when he's got protection when he's in the pocket is better than any quarterback out there. But the moment he is pushed out of the pocket or he's asked to move around, he's just an average quarterback. Yeah, I think that's absolutely true. I think he, if he if he has his offensive line working um, and he's got time, he is one of the best. But if you ask him to move around, you ask him to fucking or move, catch or catch a move fucking, a little bit and catch a ball, catch and a then ball the. On the, the the, and that, the fact that the fucking Eagles guy, well, the and, Eagles quarterback was Bowles. Is that, yeah, yeah, he, uh, Fol- Foles, Foles, right? Bowles, whatever. He eats he eats Bowles cereal. I don't, I don't even think the people who rioted uh, in in Philadelphia know who the fuck that guy is. <laughs> it was, it was the, well, Brady was a backup quarterback back in two thousand. But this guy ain't gonna be their um, their new quarterback. They've I guess they've. I remember hearing um, even the pregame and and some guy came out carrying the other quarterback's jersey when they ran out of the tunnel. I mean they they are committed to going back to their quarterback who played for most of the season. Well, I mean, this guy fucking won it, so yeah. maybe they should reconsider. They have a uh, get, uh, get they have an off season, and maybe uh, maybe the the New England Patriots will pick him up. <laughs> <laughs> maybe instead of us fucking like you know what was it? Uh, who's the guy that that was the running back for us last season? The 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 the, uh, the backup, you mean? Um, running back. Oh, the running back. Oh, uh, Blunt. No. Yeah, yeah, Blunt. Blunt. Yeah. And he played for Philly and yeah. got, got himself another Super Bowl ring yeah. playing for the other team. So good for him. Like I, I have nothing bad to say about the the Philadelphia. They played a fucking great game. No, no. I, I their 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 quote unquote great defense didn't do shit for us. So. <laughs> Yeah, no. I mean, except for I, the, until the end of the game, and then when they caused the the one sack of the game. Yeah, yeah. And that caused a fumble, and then it basically was like, "Yeah, it's all over." Yeah, yeah. <sighs> but, but you know it's what? The fir- it's the first time in the hot era that the Patriots have lost the Super Bowl. I know we we did. I mean they've they've they miss, sh- they've missed the Super Bowl uh, one only year. once, <laughs> and out of the three times that they've made the Super Bowl in the hot era. They have won twice. This is like that. That's why, like when when we lost, I I was not even dejected. I wasn't so much dejected as I was just like, oh, why did I just? I, it's the same feeling I've had with football games or with any uh, sports games for a long time, which is that why did I just waste? I, if my team doesn't win, I feel like I wasted my time. Um, and 
Yeah. But like, but, well, <laughs> and so I get mad at myself about that because one of my big hangups in life is feeling like I waste time. Like, it, I wish, like, if we had lost, well, we did lose, um, but I wish we had lost by more, and and earlier on in the game, uh, because that would have made me just shut it off. No, I don't see. I don't because that's what happened last year. We were fucking losing so bad. Mm-hmm. And we were up in uh, in uh, up in uh, Amesbury mm-hmm. with some friends. Yeah, and we were losing so bad. I'm like, fuck this. Let's just go home and we right. can get to bed early. Yeah. Um, and then you know they won, but yeah. but yeah, I'm like, I'm not like, I, I don't want to like, I'm where whereas you were like, oh, I, I, I wasted this time. I'm like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother wasting the time. Yeah. Like I, I mean, it's one thing if I was at the game, I'd stay mm-hmm. until the end. Yeah. But if. If I was, you know, well, which I was, watching it on television, I'm just like, fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. But this game was relatively close mm. throughout, which yeah. made it a little bit more exciting. Well, it was definitely, it was definitely exciting and interesting to watch. It, it's, um, uh, you know, and in that way, it felt like some of those regular season games that they've lost where, like, they just came up just a little bit short. and And so it wasn't... They came up a little bit short against a really good team and not a team that I hate. Like it wasn't, it wasn't the fucking Colts. Of course, they wouldn't face the Colts in the Super Bowl. It wasn't uh, Denver. Um, uh, it wasn't uh, Pittsburgh. I don't even hate Pittsburgh. I just hate Ben Roethlisberger. Um, like, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't any of the teams that I just sort of have a, have a bad feeling about. It was the Eagles, who I like. And have liked. Uh, I remember back when they played them uh, way back, way back when I was, I wanted us to win, but I was like, man, if Philly, if Philly won, that wouldn't be the worst thing. Um, and uh, yeah. So. Uh, you know who I'd like, I'd like to see win the Super Bowl. Mm, who? The Browns. <laughs> <laughs> Why the Browns? Dude? Because they fucking suck. <laughs> And they have consistently sucked mm-hmm. in, I think, my li- our lifetime. Yeah. Well, they were, the, 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 the Ravens were the Browns. Yeah. They, and then they okay. moved, and then they created another Browns team. Um, no, no, no. I thought it was the, the Browns mm. became the Ravens. Right. Then won the Super Bowl. Yeah. And then they made a new Browns. Yes. Yeah. That's, yeah. And then they were sucky. <laughs> yeah. 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 So... Um, and it, they have be, orange helmets. I guess. I well, I, I, look, I like orange. I like, yeah, but see it the, doesn't make any sense. They should I, have brown helmets. <laughs> the fucking Browns. I'd like to see the, uh, the 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 Lions win, or the um, uh, because of course our 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 town uh, mascot was the lion. Oh, and um, and uh, I'd like to see uh, Cleveland, not Cleveland. I uh, already said I Cleveland. Know, Cincinnati, Cincinnati. The Bengals? Yeah, I like I like I like the kitty cats. I don't know. No, I mean I like orange. I mean, as as evidenced by the fact that I have an orange phone case and an orange wristband. Uh, but Steve, what? Speaking of football lions, and lions, oh what? Uh, well, it's kind of speaking of lions. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the word lion here um, in place of something else because I don't want to get in trouble. But I want to tell you about I'm what, not lion. What? I'm not lion. I'm not lion. Um, I want to tell you about the most frightening piece of uh, junk mail I've ever received. And it was this week. Oh. And it was at the office. Um, I was at the office and uh, I get a magazine. Um, and uh, it was from a, a church. A church of, let's say, I'm not going to use their real name. Let's say a church of Lyontology. Um, the church of Lyontology's um, uh, magazine. Um, which uh, I won't name because um, I, I can't come up with uh, another uh, another way. fake name uh, another fake name. Um, uh, but but they uh, one two three fake street. <laughs> they uh, the, the the title um, uh, the sort of headline on the front of the this particular issue of the magazine was an epic year the Lyontology humanitarian movement. Wouldn't it be felinitarian? Uh, no, 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 no. That, I don't. I don't have to mask the word humanitarian. Oh no, it's the 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 Lyontology humanitarian movement. I don't think you're covering up. I, the, I, they have fucking yeah. crazy good lawyers, dude. Uh, how how did I get on this mailing list, Steve? I don't understand it. It wasn't like everybody in the office. 
got a copy of the magazine. It was specifically addressed. It wasn't like it was addressed to the former person in my role. It was, it was addressed to me in, with my job title in my department. Like, how did I get onto their mailing list? I don't get it and I'm scared. I like, I'm, I'm kind this is kind of half a bit and half serious. I'm scared out of my fucking mind. Don't you want to be clear, Chris? <laughs> I, d- I don't want to be clear. I do. I want to be clear on one thing. And that is that I don't want to be clear. All right. Um, unless we're talking about clear I could, I could always use a little help with the acne. So like I, every acne medication I ever used when I was mm. younger never worked. Your brother had that that got that Accutane shit. And yeah, that was like bad for his anus. I think. Oh, I did not. I did. Uh, did he put it on his anus? No, he didn't put it on his anus, but it made him have like violent poo. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had I had violent poo once um, because I think I was eating too much salad. So it was like, <laughs> um, so I, I it got to a point where um, uh, I got sick once um, from both ends. Uh, when I've been eating butt sick mo- or mouth sick, <laughs> uh, uh, um, I've been I've been eating a lot of salad, and I got both butt sick and mouth sick. And uh, because I saw uh, little bits of lettuce in both places, I I could not have a salad or anything with lettuce on it for I don't know six months to a year. It was it was really it, it bothered. That must have been great for your your vitamin intake. Yeah, no, it was it was it was it was, it was not great. Um, but Accutane was bad for my brother's anus. I suppose. It's, I think I think I recall him saying that, and hopefully yeah. he doesn't give a shit that I said it on the fucking podcast. Yeah. Hopefully he gives a shit now. I mean, like he like. He, well, I don't he, think he's he, on the he medicine gives, anymore. He gives, so. he gives a shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. So. Well, I, I, he he doesn't eat a whole terrible lot. When we was back for the mm. for break, you know, we'd go out for dinner or whatever, yeah. and he would get this. He would get like a. You know, medium sized entree and eat half of it. Yeah. Like, what are you doing, bud? Yeah, he does. He does not uh, eat uh, eat a whole bunch. Um, leaves uh, usually like eats part of it, leaves some of it around for later. It's kind of a, um, a grazer, I think. Is uh, see, I mean, that's probably the way you're supposed to eat. Like yeah. you know, the way I inhale food is not the way you're supposed to eat. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't like the way that I inhale food uh, myself either. Um, although my wife certainly doesn't help because she. <laughs> This, she grew up in, in a house where, you know, it was her mom and uh, three, then eventually four kids, um, and mostly on her own uh, for a lot of those years. Um, and they didn't have a lot of money, so they didn't have a lot of food. And so the rule at their house was if you want the food, you better eat fast. So if you cleared your plate, then you could have seconds, and not everybody was going to get seconds. See, I don't have that. Like, because, and, like and because, that's usually the people that eat fast. Is that that's usually the reason? And so she still eats very fast to this day. And so when we started to eat together, I started to eat faster. Um, yeah, but I, I'm an only child, so that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Well, I don't know. There maybe there's a different reason that you that you woof it down. I think I think it might. It's probably later on in my in my it's life. Wolf it down, isn't it? It's not wolf it down. I think it's wolf it down. <laughs> Barking it down. <laughs> um, I think it's more later on in my life, and I would only have like a half an hour for lunch or whatever, mm. and I'd have to like yeah. I'd go to fucking Wendy's, and it right, would be right. like a ten minute drive away, yeah. and then I'd have like the ten minute drive back to eat yeah. the food that I waited ten minutes for, and that there's my fucking lunch. Right. Right. I, I've had to do that a ton myself with uh, the amount of driving, especially when I was doing a ton of acting in, in Portsmouth. I would do a ton of eating on the road and, and I would, would just grab eat something. a ton of food when you were doing a ton of things. I, I, I would. But I was actually at my at my thinnest during those years because I was moving all the time. I was working at I was working. I was moving a ton. You were working a ton. There's just a, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton. <laughs> you just said um, ton a lot. That's there a lot are of tons. <laughs> three things on this list. How many times do we have left? Um, six minutes. Hmm. Um, so there were two anecdotes that you had and one anecdote that I had. I've already given plenty of anecdotes today, so we should go to one of the anecdotes that oh, you uh, had. Oh, my cough drop lung? <laughs> Your cough drop lung um, and happy death day and Chris's lost glove. Okay, let's do the, the, the cough drop lung. Okay. So on Friday... Mid mid afternoon, mm-hmm. I was talking to one of my coworkers, and I popped a cough drop in my mouth. I was, yeah. you know, had it for a little bit, mm-hmm. and um, and then I I thought I inhaled it. Oh, 
Like I thought it like went, it went into, down the wrong tube. Yeah, and it, I thought it like went into my lungs. Ooh, because like it it didn't feel like it went down my throat at all. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, for you know, it didn't hurt or anything. So right. and I'm like, it can't have gone down. And I'm like, I just back and forth freaking out about it. Yeah, yeah. And so eventually, I'm just like, whatever. It probably didn't go down there. Yeah. And then like right after dinner, mm. I have like this explosive coughing fit. Yeah. And, um, and I'm like, Jesus, I must, it must have actually went in my lungs. So mm. we went to, uh, Emerson hospital in okay. Concord. Yeah. So to just get myself checked out. Cause I'm like, if, like, if this thing's stuck in there, I, mm. like imagine it would have dissolved. And that's what, you know, the, the guy at the hospital or the, the ER doctor said. Yeah. Um, but I was like, you know. I was just I was just nervous. Well, you could you could be a little freaked out. I think yeah. you you are allowed given the circumstances. And um yeah, I just had a I think the coughing fit was completely unrelated. I did yeah. in fact swallow it. Mm-hmm. Um and you know, I wasted 100 bucks going to the fucking <laughs> ER. But uh what did they did, if you don't mind me asking, did they do like a x-ray or They like, did and okay. they they yeah. saw nothing and okay. like just just what they just what was in my lungs, nothing. Yeah. Besides like, you know, the air that I'm turning into or the, the oxygen that I'm inhaling that, that mm. you put into my blood and all make, the make stuff my heart on. beat and like my brain work and all that shit. Yeah, you make the earth move under your feet. But yeah, so, but mm. <laughs> we, we walk, like, the, the weird thing was mm. like we walk into the ER and they yeah. have like, since it's, it's flu season, Right. I don't know if anybody knows that, that it's, it's flu, flu season. season. Yeah. I, I had not heard. Yeah. There's hardly any news stories about it or yeah. anything. <laughs> And so they're like, since it's like such a crazy flu season, it was not busy at the hospital or mm-hmm. anything. Not, it's very unlike Lowell General. Every time I've gone to the ER, like <laughs> it's been at like Lowell General or whatever, yeah, yeah. and it's always absurdly busy in there. Yeah, the difference and, between a a suburban or or like I don't know. We are in the suburbs. Like in yeah. Concord is part of the suburbs. Yeah. So, so like the difference between a suburban hospital and an urban hospital is like night and day. Yeah. And so you know, there's nobody in there. And then they have like, you know, since it's such a crazy flu season, Mm -hmm. everybody should be wearing masks. And they had them right by the door and we grabbed them. Like, you know, it's like when you go into a temple, you put on the yarmulke. Mm -hmm. It was like that, only you put it on my face. (laughs) You put a yarmulke on your face. Yeah, sort of. But it had a little thing. It's about the same size. Yeah. Do you think if you were, if you had... That's that's probably why, you know, uh, like uh, Jewish people that go to temple a lot, they, Mm. they... they probably don't get the flu as much because they just put their yarmulke over their face. I don't know. This, we're probably blaspheming like <laughs> severely right now, but I don't give a shit. I think so. Well, uh, what I was gonna, uh, the where I was gonna take it was like if you had, if you thought, you know, you might be invited to uh, like your your Jewish friends' kids uh, bar mitzvah or bat mitzvah, bat mitzvah. Should you grab a couple of face masks while you're in the hospital and then uh, a sharpie and paint it black and just have? I don't think it has ready? to be black. I, I've seen one that has uh, like a new york yankees thing on it or whatever shit dog those jews know how to party um that was a hard j <laughs> what that was a definite hard j man <laughs> wait hard j what what oh in terms of uh it, 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 yeah i did i don't think you're an anti-semite don't okay <laughs> i was not meaning anything by it but... <laughs> I was trying to say that those Jewish people. Know there you go. That's a better way to say it. Just like, hey, I, 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 gotta I go have back. got Jewish friends. I got to go back for a second and say, you note that Leo sent us an email and he did not refute any of the claims that I made about. Um, was he Portuguese? Yeah. Yeah. About Portuguese people having large peckers. Oh. Like there was. He must have forgot nothing, about that. I, I, there was nothing in we there got, that, gotta, said, that said Chris was wrong about that. And so I'm just going to take that as, uh, as, as, as evidence that, that I was right about the, the average size of the Portuguese member. Okay. Because I'm sure he's studied a lot of them. <laughs> I'm sure he studied his own, you know. Yeah, but he's only him. Mm. I once had. He's to only play. him. <laughs> I once had to play a game of truth or dare freshman year of college with Leo. No, not with Leo. Been like a child at the time. (laughs) Um, And um, and one of my friends, uh, I I, I can't come up with a name, but but one of my I I don't want to use his real name, um, and I I can't come up with a fake name. Um, John John Hodgman. (laughs) Yeah, one of my friends, Hodgman. um, He uh, he gets asked. 
Um, I forget what the truth. I don't. I don't know what the truth was. I think he answered dare because we were. He and I both were in this friend group. Um, we were the two of like three or four guys, and we were very you know shy and nervous to share anything. So we're like, ah, we'll do we'll do the dares. Both of us did the dares. His dare. Well, my dare was to um, was to give a, a blowjob to my big toe. Um, were you able to do so? Uh, they they were satisfied you, with what you, I with what I tried to do, and then I got like a did really you get it bad, to come at least? <laughs> I got a really bad cold or something afterwards. It was I, I felt very ill, like a, a fungal infection. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I I don't know where my toe had been, but uh, no place good. No, but my friend, <laughs> your shoe is no place good. <laughs> my friend Hodgman, um, uh, he was asked to uh, to measure his dick. Now, all the ladies, I think, were, were vaguely interested in, in Hodgman because he was, he was shy and he was, um, he was a virgin as far as, I was, uh, as far as all of us were aware. And, and they all thought he was kind of cute. Um, he was geeky, but cute. Um, and so somebody challenged him to go measure his... Um, Erect? Measure his, uh, well, this became the point of contention. So he went into the other room with a ruler and he measured it and he came back and he set a number that made all, I can't remember what the number was but all the girls were like oh and 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 then 16 somebody, and then somebody asked 16 millimeters was it was it erect and he's like no and they were just and so all of a sudden he became even more popular I mean, even more wanted i think he it was still a long time before he he had a girlfriend or anything like that but um but having his, an impressive size, member didn't it, didn't hurt. It did not hurt. I think it, I think it was just everyone was very good friends with him, and um, uh, uh, th- I may be recalling all of this wrong, but but I'm not recalling anything bad here. I'm recalling that he had a big dick, uh, yeah. at least at least according. All right, to Hodgman, him. glad glad you have a big I, dick. I, yeah, so I, we put the goddamn masks on. <laughs> put the goddamn. Mask. And then, so I go into the, like, the little, the little, we could take you in here, and I give him my insurance card. Yeah. They needed it, like, three separate times, because uh-huh. apparently couldn't make a copy of it yeah. right. Um, and uh, then I, I noticed the woman that was doing all that mm. wasn't wearing a mask. Mm-hmm. I go into... Was she wearing a yarmulke? No. <laughs> Uh, I go into the little triage nurse. They take my vitals. Mm-hmm. She's not wearing a mask. I go in, and then they they were like, "Okay, put yeah. on." They, they didn't need me to take off my my drawers. They just mm-hmm. had me take off my shirt, yeah, uh, and put the little Johnny on. Mm-hmm. And um, you know the the people that were in on the other side of the curtain from me, this older lady and her mm-hmm. and her daughter, um, neither of them were mar- wearing masks. <laughs> The, the the nurse that took me into where we were going wasn't wearing a mask. So you're sitting there wearing a mask. Becky and I are both wearing masks. Looking like fucking. We look like doofuses <laughs> wearing these goddamn masks. I like the the ER doctor comes in. Yeah. He's not wearing a mask. <laughs> another fucking nurse comes in. She's to bring it me in to get my X-ray. And then there's another X-ray mm-hmm. tech in there. Both not wearing masks. <laughs> Not a single person in that fucking hospital, besides the two of us, was wearing a goddamn mask. They just wanted to make you feel special. I guess so. <laughs> like make, maybe make you feel like a superhero for for a day before they before they tell you that your lungs are collapsing. I didn't want to like you swallowed a cough and drop. And guess what? When I took it off, there was the cough drop. Really? No. <laughs> That would have been a good end to this story. Yeah, and then you were like, I had to really me, mm. really, really. Um, I'm sorry. I ruined, I ruined the punchline. Yeah. <sighs> can they find the show notes? Is, is, is <laughs> Yes. Is the show over? Please. Yes. You can find the show notes for this episode, um, such as they are at clarkwoods.com slash hot slash one eight four. Um, and, uh, if you'd like to, uh, rate us, rate us and review us on iTunes, uh, you should do that on Apple podcasts and in all those places. Um, uh, if you don't want to rate and review us, but you no. want to send us something to talk about, we, we fucking rate and review us. Don't I don't care if you don't want to do it. Do it. <laughs> Give us five stars and say this this fucking show changed my life. Yes, because it did. Yes, it's not. It's not your lying. life is not on the same goddamn path as it was Mm-mm. when you first started listening. Even if this is the first episode, you're right? On a, you're on a different trajectory now. Mm-hmm. Um, if you'd like to uh, to send us uh, something to talk about. 
you can do give, that. Give us something to talk about. You can send uh, send that to uh, hotatclarkwoods.com, or you can tweet us. Uh, if you if you've got less than 280 characters um, uh, of stuff to say, I am at ECC 1977, and I am at Tuesday is loser. That's Tuesday I S loser, all one word for all you new sweethearts fans out there. Mm-hmm. Um, I will quickly say that I lost my glove the other day uh, while um, speak. This new sweethearts made me think of this. Um, uh, and, and I lost my glove, uh, while I was out on a walk and I was like, you know, I could keep the glove that I still have. I, I had one and, and the other one was lost, but I was just like, I don't know if like a, like a hobo is going to, um, uh, pick it up and jizz into it. And then like when I see it tomorrow, when I'm out on my walk that I'm going to put my hand in. Are there a lot of transients just kicking around Chelmsford jizzing in gloves? No, no, this was, I, this was in Cambridge. Oh, I lost fuck. it while I was walking along. No, it was in Boston where I lost it. Does Somewhere. your glove look like a pocket pussy? <laughs> well, you know, I, Steve. Guess I guess if you've had enough to drink. Um, 